Welcome to Gold Star Educators, a podcast from the La Crosse Public Education Foundation. Great things are happening every day in La Crosse Public Schools. Hear firsthand from teachers that are on the front lines about how this nonprofit education foundation is strengthening our community one student at a time. Both of my parents were teachers. Well, my mom was a kindergarten teacher for years and years, and my dad worked at the university. When you're a teacher, you go home and you tell stories about the kids that you have in your classroom. I always found that exciting. I always liked hearing those stories about those kids that you didn't know that they were as smart as they showed you one day. And I do kind of think that I was born to be a teacher. Tracy Taylor Johnson is a third grade teacher at Summit Environmental School. Tracy's been a teacher for 32 years. It is. It is everything that I am. You can't give up. You have to keep trying. Um, I have something in my classroom that says, what, what we're learning today is important, and I'm not going to give up on you, and you can do it. Tracy, it's great to know that there's people out there that are willing to help out teachers such as yourself, like the Lacrosse Public Education Foundation. Tell me your thoughts on the Lacrosse Public Education Foundation. Oh, my gosh. Those people are fabulous. There are always things in during my day, in my classroom, during the school year, that I think, oh, my gosh, I wish I had money to do that. I wish I had time that I could gather other teachers up and we could have a conversation about these kinds of things. The La Crosse Public Education Foundation has always supported things that I think are important for me in my classroom that I think other teachers would benefit from. They have been such a fabulous support during my career, certainly, and just have had such an impact with the kids that are in school now or have already graduated. Out of the grants that you've written, is there one that stands out and is closer to your heart than any of the other ones? I think maybe one of the first grants that I wrote was about getting a person from Milwaukee who would come and teach 60 um, teachers about indicators about trauma and what we can do to help kids if they have been exposed to trauma and what we can expect of them and how we can help regulate them and help them know that we are going to love and support them and keep them safe at school. I bet you that's the huge issue right now is that kids need to feel safe at school, don't they? Oh my gosh, yes. We talk a lot about that because that that is part of our responsibility. Here it's the third week of school and I'm thinking how many times we had talked about, you know, I'm going to keep you safe. Thanks for what you do for the kids. You know, you probably don't oh, hear absolutely. you probably don't hear that very often, but I do love what I'm doing and I do feel very fortunate that I have written grants that La Crosse Public Education Foundation has been able to grant and that I can go and make a difference. And I think it's not just me, it's about lots of kids. Like I did just write a grant that La Crosse Children's Museum had a display that talked about forgiveness, how to deal with strong emotions. And so my latest grant was actually for all of the public schools in La Crosse to take their third graders to the Children's Museum and experience the second floor and go through all of the different stations that they had, you know, like writing the letter of forgiveness to somebody or saying thank you to somebody. And it was nice the Children's Museum gave the kids a buy one, get one free pass. So it was my hope that the kids would take their families and go back and talk to them about all the things that they had learned at school about forgiveness, how to regulate your feelings, or the fact that it's okay that you get angry, but you can't hurt other people or things like that. That was a great grant, too, that was also awarded. Wonderful things are happening in the La Crosse Public Schools through the work of the La Crosse Public Education Foundation. The foundation depends on private fundraising to provide grants to teachers and money for random acts of kindness to address students' needs that create obstacles to attendance, self-esteem, and academic success. To learn more and to donate, please visit lacrosseeducationfoundation.org. That's lacrosseeducationfoundation.org. The Gold Star Educators Podcast is a podcast for hire.com production.